In a recent interview in relation to Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, director Zack Snyder revealed an interesting piece of info. He originally sat down, had conversations, and offered the role to Leonardo DiCaprio. Obviously, Leonardo DiCaprio said no because he probably heard the pitch and realized it would ruin his career. So for those that aren't aware, Leonardo DiCaprio has been on WB's list to play somebody in a DC film going all the way back to Batman Forever. It's kind of insane, but he's never joined a single one. So recently, speaking with Josh Horowitz, we had an update from Zack Snyder, who talked about actors he passed on or actors that passed on him for various projects. And he brings up that Leonardo DiCaprio was in fact somebody that he was talking to that he was meeting and somebody that he was going back and forth with in terms of the material that they were putting in Batman v Superman. And when he was looking at villains, he was figuring that Leo would be a perfect pick for Lex Luthor. Now, I don't know about you guys. Leo is a talented actor, but I don't think he could even make those lines and script work for Lex Luthor. I don't think anybody could, honestly. Like, the writing was just bad. Like, you can have the best actor on hand. And Jesse Eisenberg is a great actor. But you can't make gold out of a turd. It, it, it doesn't work like that, right? Like, that's not how it works. So him saying that Leo more or less never answered and he moved on and just looked at other actors... And we know that previously, along with Leonardo DiCaprio, who was rumored to be in the running for a role, was also the likes of Adam Driver. I mean, I think this is kind of pointing to all of it being true. But luckily, Leo did not fall for the pack full of money and that role. Because, would, yeah, I think it would have damaged his career, honestly. Um, there's roles that damage careers and you fall out of favor with actors. Where has Jesse Eisenberg been since Lex Luthor? Nobody knows.